As temperatures soar, so do the demands on surf lifesavers, but the organisation's funding is on the decline. It relies on charity dollars, but some are now asking if it should be financed as the crucial emergency service it is. Sam Clark has more. They're the ones we always turn to for help in the water, but now Surf Lifesaving New Zealand needs help too. It's a challenge, it definitely is a challenge. It's the hand to mouth sort of way they operate um, year to year. They don't have a long term funding plan um, because everything's based on traditionally funding, fundraising. As revenue from pokey machines drops and direct donations fluctuate, the charity is increasingly reliant on lotto funding. Now it wants the government to step up. It's definitely time for a game changer. Uh, we need some new way of, of funding the organisation. Uh, it's It does get uh, to the point where yeah, a lot of a lot of things are becoming harder and harder to do. Drowning claimed 86 lives last year. It's the third leading cause of accidental death in New Zealand behind road and workplace accidents. But unlike the transport agency in WorkSafe, this frontline agency doesn't get the same support. In the absence of surf lifesavers, we'd have a catastrophic drowning toll in this country. Each surf lifesaving club can cost upwards of $30,000 every year just to maintain. And with 74 clubs around the country, that can mean relying on charities, sponsors and sausage sizzles to find millions of dollars in funding. Funding which some say should be coming from the top. The drowning toll isn't coming down, so we are heading towards a perfect storm. So we'd certainly welcome a conversation. It's a conversation the government's open to. Penny Hinare, who covers community and voluntary sector, wants to sit down and have a conversation with them. Uh, obviously we're, we're, we're new um, and this is a conversation he's coming new to but it's one that yeah does affect a range of voluntary organisations we are really dependent on. They've been in business 105 years and in that time there has never been a death between the flags on their patrol. And that's a record surf lifesavers want to keep flying. Sam Clark, One News.